Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Diablo 3. And on tonight's episode, I am joined by two, uh, what, you guys might actually know them quite well by now. Uh, Dark Dragon? Yo. And we have, uh, Dev Dog with us. You wanna go ahead and say something to everybody? Hi guys. Now, what class are you playing? What level are you right now? I'm a 29 Crusader. I'm far behind, but, uh, I'll be fine. Yeah, I think he will, guys. I don't know for sure. This is the first time that I'm going to be grouping with somebody that's lower level than we are, fighting the mobs that are uh, around the level that we are, I think. Is it is an average between everybody here, or does it just pick, like, the highest person to go with that? It goes by the party leader, so if you look to the left, whoever has the crown, that's the level of the creatures. And you, if you look at the top right, it will say the level difficulty and the number. That's the level of the person that's running the party. Yeah. Uh, real quick, Dev, you should run over at, to the Mystic and roll a socket in your helmet, throw a ruby in there, and that'll help you catch up. <laughs> now there's some kind of little war going on outside. Uh, is that part of the story? Are they yes. fighting somebody right now? Like, what was going on? They're besieging the Bastion Keep stronghold. So they're just trying to take it over and get rid of the humans. It looks like they're losing. I mean, it doesn't look like they're really making any headway. There's only a few of them here. Oh, you, you'll like when we go through this door over here. But I'm gonna well, wait yeah. to, to finish. I figured their whole army's gonna be coming through that door. And that's why, you know, we're going to find quite a few down here, but outside, at least, I, not so many. What's that? Can I get a socket? I tried like ten times. Can I get a socket? Um, we saw a the socket's a primary. We must like the rest, but the demons swarm around but it's okay. Just... Uh, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh, well. Shows how much you play this game, huh? Well, you don't have to play it that much to get pretty good at it. But yeah, there's always more to learn about it, which is one of the reasons uh, you know, I greatly enjoy this game. Is that for beginners or people who are casual gamers, it has a great deal to offer you. But then at the same time, if you're a hardcore gamer and you play a great deal, uh, it's going to have even more to offer you as well. So, and the fact that it can be detailed if you want it. Hey, I'm still learning stuff about the game, and I've been playing it for over two years now. So, I mean, you know, there's, it's just, you know, anytime you go into, like, RPG, you're gonna have just this massive knowledge base that you can pull from, or things that you can do with that game. It's just, how much do they want to give you access to is really what it comes down to. Because they can overwhelm you. Uh, there's games out there like Skyrim. I love that game. Don't get me wrong. I'm not putting that game down at all. But for somebody who's just getting into the RPG uh, aspects of video games, not very familiar with it, maybe not even sure if they're gonna like that kind of style might be an overload for you because it is like the higher end the more detailed version of rpgs out there almost right. like the old style dungeon and dragons very much go ahead i was saying come on up here but yeah it's very much into the details you have to figure out like what agility does and what dexterity does because you're new to the whole you know genre to begin with and then you have to figure out like what you want in that that character and how you want to make that character and again brand new to the the genre, you don't even know, like, what the classes you have to do. Not get the shrine. Oh, that's right. I always let you guys get them. Just, I know you plan it out like it's the best time well, to do it. You're a welcome sight, hero. Okay, so you get it anyway. Uh, I clicked on it by accident. So. Well, there's an achievement that you get if you let if the shrines after you kill everything around it. Hopefully, we'll still get it. When but, do you know if you're going to get it? Like, right afterwards? or At the end of the level because there's four more uh beacons that we have to get and you have to do the same thing on all four yeah all five that's gonna be kind of rough uh you know if you have to do that on all of them and you get something like what we just did where it's right there on the line i guess you don't really have any other choice but to keep trying but yeah you may have to play this level a couple of times yeah there's a few achievements that you have to do a few times what's the hardest achievement that you've ever gotten um, put you on the spot. I know. I'm sorry. Well, man, I'm just, you know, there, there's some out there that will stay with you as you play because it's just so freaking hard. Like in 
Assassin's Creed collecting all the flags. That was the most difficult thing I've pretty much ever done on any video game because platformers, I suck at them. And then, of course, that's what that was, is just jumping and getting to the, like, the hardest spots in the game. So I remember that one right off the top of my head because it was so difficult. But, uh, well, some there's, games... uh, Go ahead. there's one where you have to defeat a bunch of specific named mobs, and they're random. So you could go through the board 15, 20, 30 times and still not find them. Oh really? So it was... You might not even be able to do it every single time you play, let alone just have a chance at trying. Right. That that would be rough. I can see why that one would be one of the harder ones to do. Out of all the ones that you've ever heard about, which one do you feel or think it sounds like it would be the most difficult? Well, there's uh, one that I heard about that you only get after you flip all ancient gear. Oh, by the way, come back here. Wait. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, if you come back over here, um, I think, I think that dog is following behind. I love, I level up. I'm down. But see that big guy down there? Oh yeah, sorry when he came. We have to fight him. That's gonna be cool. I, mean, I like that. I like that he's not just in the background, like they used to do in video games. Show you this big bad guy, and then you never get to fight him. You know, he's just kind of back there. I always hated that. I was yeah. like, what do you even have him in there for? Yeah, you're going to tease me with just this ultimate enemy guy, and then I'm not even going to be able to play the guy? That sucks. Now, I understand graphic-wise, they may be not able to, you know, the capability of computers or consoles. Yeah, I, I get it, but don't show him to me, man. <laughs> like, leave it to my imagination. Yeah. I don't want to see it if I'm not going to be able to play it, yeah? Because it was rough. I fully agree, man. Right that, turn. Is there... Is there any one game out there that you can think of offhand that really did that to you? That kind of twisted it in and was um, like, oh, the really great stuff. But nah, not gonna really do that. Parasite Eve. Hmm, that's not one I'm familiar with. Now, what kind of game was that? Um, the story is is you know what the mitochondria is of your right cells. Yeah. Um, it it talks about how they're actually alien to ourselves, which they are. They just showed up one day. They're actually a symbiotic thing. And they evolve at a different rate than ourselves. While Parasite Eve goes under the premise where the mitochondria actually develop sentience. And that's what the video and, game was about. Yeah. And uh, it, there's this one person who's basically anti Eve, and then there's Eve, who's the mitochondria representative, so to speak. Uh, so she's just, the I, person whose mitochondria became sentient. I was sitting there hitting that thing for like, I don't know, a minute and a half, and barely doing any damage to it. You run over here and you do like four hits and the thing dies. Just to <laughs> show you guys at home, if you're paying attention, how much these guys are overpowered. You know, like, this is a lot harder area than I'm making it look if these well, if these guys weren't here with me. Like, I'd be having some difficulty here. Look at my weapon and look at the damage difference that it'll give you. Oh, no, no, I get that, but there's also some other little details. I just wanted to point it out to people because, like I said, you know, they may be going through it and be like, oh, this is, this is too easy of a game, right? Like, I, I want to, like, you're playing it on whatever difficulty and it's still super easy. Well, no. This, this would actually be pretty freaking hard, but thankfully I got some people here making it look easy and we're kind of able to walk through the level and show you guys what they look like without dying too much. Some people may not want to see the actual uh, gameplay. There we go. Got something there. We're just twinks. Not all of us, but yeah, most of, yeah. Most of the people I'm playing with right now. Kill 200 elite champion rare or unique. Congrats. Sorry, I was looking up the award you just got. Are we heading back out? No, we're going through the doorway. Okay. Yeah, it, it seems like a lot of the achievements you just get naturally as you play. Of course, I bet you you get them easier on certain classes. You know, like the elite class is probably going to get the achievements that have to do with that versus ones yep. that want you to kill like maybe... 30 using magical damage or something like that at one time. That's probably more easy or easier, I should say, uh, for a caster or you know, 
this thing along those lines. Oh, there's different achievements for different classes. Like, uh, there's one like the where uh, you have, you have to believe. have 30 oh, pets up for a certain We're amount of time. See, but then again, only a what caster that has pets like the Witch right. Doctor could do that. If you need to be right. told which end of the sword goes, it seems kind of unfair. Like, I, I, I like the ones where you can get them sooner because your class is kind of geared towards that, but I like it where everybody can get all the achievements if they want to without playing every class. That seems to be a little excessive. I know they want to, like, promote, oh, we spent this time on the Witch Doctor, give him a try, you may like them, but kind of forcing people to do that all the way, like, you're not even just, like, give them a try, you're, like, play them all the way it's through the entire again. game and get, like, the 10,000 mob achievement. It doesn't take as long as you think. Even if it only took 20 minutes, that's still 20 minutes you're kind of forcing people to play. <laughs> that They may not like the character. Like, I don't mind giving people the, the choice. I just don't like it when you take it away from me. Yeah, but you don't... You'll never know if you like the class if you don't play it and give it a try. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to give it a try for as long as they want you to, to get all the achievements. And yeah, again, you know, I, I understand the achievements minutes, are a bonus man. thing. Well, again, it's probably not 20 minutes. You guys say you can do it within a day. What would you think the max is for somebody creating a new character and playing the game for the second or third or fourth time, uh, getting all the way up to max level, and getting a feel for the actual character? Um, I would say about 5 to 10 hours of playtime. Okay, so within 5 to 10 hours, chances are you probably get a good portion of the achievements that they had for that class. But with that said, forcing somebody to play five to six hours on a class that they're not enjoying, just so they can do that that compulsion of, I gotta, get, I gotta do it. Here. What's that? What was attacking up here? Oh, it was a name. Or I think oh. so, because he dropped some pretty good loot. All right. Are we going down? Now you gotta keep it rare. Well, you Which know, the, the loot is pretty- Still 10 rare enemies. Nice. Yeah, the loot um, is pretty, uh, you know, all over the place. Sometimes I get really good loot when we log on, sometimes I don't. So I see what you guys mean, that if you're not getting good loot, you might want to log off and then log back on. And hopefully it resets it. Yeah. Um, just so you know, it kind of looks like I'm doing random and backtracking and everything. But there's a certain route that you can go through this that you don't have to backtrack as much as any other. And right now I'm covering everywhere in this map, just in case there's hidden dudes like bosses or keywords. That's primarily what I do it for. Right. Yeah, I know you guys went back the other way. I just want to come up here and check around, show the viewers okay. at home. I got no time or no problem waiting for you. It's all good. And it's really a beautiful place, guys. I mean, I understand we're going through it pretty quickly, but. It's kind of nice to be able to stop. I might actually go back and watch some of the older videos just so that I can kind of see some of the details that you kind of miss. Because we're concentrating on the enemies. We're concentrating on using the right spells and going in the right direction. We don't really get to kind of sit there and look at like the flames burning along the path as we go yeah. or see the, the pets right attack. You know, I mean, it's like we're, we're concentrating on other things. So it'd be nice to kind of go back without having to to worry about whether my guy's going to uh, die or not because I'm paying attention. Although, I really don't think, think that that's going to be a thing. Because I got two people here who are overpowered who can protect me. You know, I don't really see... And all your pets. Yeah. I mean, they're they're pretty good. But there are a few enemies out there that they don't even scratch. You know, like the, the rares and the name bombs. <laughs> they, they'll sit there for 5-10 minutes, as you guys have seen, just messing around with those guys and, yeah, barely, barely even touch the... the the surface although they don't die very easily either so I haven't really had to recast my guys once now that I'm thinking about it I mean, you can cast them when you first log on but that's it yeah Ooh, can we fight this guy well he already did oh man that dude was pretty freaking huge have you had yeah. your pets die on you yes actually when I uh, go too high of a torment level oh but that's right. the only time don't talk to this guy Help me free the recruit so they can raise this catapult. Over here. Anyway. Excellent. Let's protect the recruits while they raise. Now the we gotta run back here and protect these guys while they pull on the cranks. This is a slow part. Because you're waiting on them. Yep. Well, you know it's probably not that slow the first time you come here. Again, if you kill slower, 
that's that's who they're giving people the time to do it. I guess if you're playing on a harder level, these guys go a little faster, maybe, no? No, you just get more of them. Oh, okay. Same speed, just more mobs. You figure they, they would make it harder by giving you less time, and if you have less time, that means, you know, well, actually make it more time, slow them down. That way you have to defend them for longer periods with more mobs. That would make it more difficult. Most definitely it would. But, you know, they may do that in the future. They, they may just do the, the easiest method, which is just to give you more mobs, period, and not necessarily go in and alter the game to make certain parts uh, more difficult than others than they have to be. Plus, you know, they do want people to be able to beat them. They don't want to make them too hard on you. Like, you have to have a certain No, they, they actually want to get it to where you can beat them. By yourself? Even in a group. That's really, they, they want it so difficult. I guess that's good to have, because you're always that's challenging even the, the hardcore players who are constantly getting better at the game. Give right. them just that one more that they can't beat. You know, it's just that that's without, what the, your riffs are. Yeah, without cheating. Because I, I do know, like, a Mario Kart's back in the day, and you guys would play that on, like, Nintendo <laughs> or Super Nintendo. You'd hit them with, like, a red shell, and five seconds later, they're back at number one. Something like that happens to you, you're out of the, the competition for the whole game. But you're just never going to catch up. So uh, they used to let them cheat, man. They give them like a hyper speed when you're not watching. And yeah, they they yeah, got a little. Yeah, you were ahead of them. They got double speed. Yeah, stuff like that. It was it was crazy. But you could beat them. You just had to be really, really good. But yeah, they kind of cheated in those because of programming. I guess they just didn't have the time or the, the resources to write the code as know, detailed as they do now with video games. Give them so much more life and, and character all their own. So it was a Come little... On, they put so much into games nowadays. I know. It's, it's beautiful because it's a combination, in my opinion, of so many different types of entertainment. You got visual, you got the rhythm, the story behind it, you got the sounds. You just have pretty much every type of entertainment or enjoyment that people can get from entertainment kind of mixed into one. The only thing really left is to give them that tactile sensation. And you can kind of do that already with like the the vibration in the controls when an explosion goes off Scout and things of that sort more of thing. Of those mm -hmm. demon demon need to so be they're protected. getting there. And the one day it's going to be like a complete experience. And I think men. that's going to blow away anything because it, it incorporates all of them. So if you're a writer, you have the storyline still in there. If you're you know a director, you have the cinematic prospects of the video game. Figuring out how to shoot the cinematics. What's up? You cover up here. I pinged it for you. That but yeah, you see it. You have all the cinematic. Oh, yeah, check that guy out. He died pretty quick, though. Jeez, this guy's are huge. <laughs> but yeah, you... Get to see yeah, the cinematics, you have, like, the camera angles you have to worry about. You have uh, the voice actors, and they're actors, guys. Some of these people are incredibly good. In fact, you probably know them from actual movies. They're going out and getting movie stars to do the voice acting because it is that big of a deal. Lucy Lawless does a couple voices in this game. Oh, does she really? Mm -hmm. yeah, the one I liked uh, the most is uh, Michael Ironside. He does uh, one of the voices in, like, the... The snake ones, the Metal Gear Solid ones. And he did a really, really good uh, job in, like, V, the, the old TV show. And, of course, he was uh, the greatest bad guy I've ever seen in um, Total Recall. I mean, he just plays a good bad guy, period. Yeah. So, you know, Some people just nail it. Yeah. Like the guy in uh, Harry Potter? Snape? He did all those... He was a uh, good guy. Souvenir. Yeah, but for like the longest time, everybody thought he was evil. Uh, spoiler yeah. alert, guys. Uh, for those of you who have not watched it yet. Oh, well, uh, if they haven't seen it by now, they're behind the times. Yeah, but you never know. Like 10 years from now, when people are like, oh, that sounds like a pretty cool movie. I go check it out. 20 no, years, 30 no, years. This like, you know. Harry Potter thing. <laughs> exactly. You, you think the movies are going to be popular forever, but, you know, I talk to my niece or my nephew and. You know, some of the movies that I'm like, how could you have missed that? They just haven't had a chance to see it. So they get to see it all for the first time. and kind of envious because how many people get to watch the the best movie they've ever seen for the first time again? You know, like you can see that through their eyes. So it's pretty cool. Yes, this one, this one right here, one of us has to actually crank it up, which will be me. Okay. 
in between cranking it, they're gonna throw waves of creatures at us. And just so you know, I'm pulling up a platform in this hole that has a catapult. Are you alone here? Of course. So how hard is it to do this on your own? Not so hard. Well, I guess especially with the pet master. Yeah, for us, but I mean for other classes. Have you played any classes where playing it by yourself is a little bit more difficult than, say, this class? Demon Hunter. It's kind of difficult by yourself doing the solo? Yeah, because you have to stay away from everything because Demon Hunters don't take a hit as good. So being able to stay away from them and running forward to hit the crank and all that because what I would do is I'd run down this way kill all the creatures, then come up, hit the crank ones. And then run away, kill all the creatures, run up, hit the crank ones. Oh, so it's not something you have to hold down for a No, you just click on it and it goes up a certain amount. Oh. Yeah, I like the ones in the old days where you would have to like sit there and actually hold it down. And then when creatures hit you where you left, uh, it would uh, fall down slowly, and then you'd have to run back, and it would take forever to do it if you weren't, like, right level. Mm -hmm. you were little, right? I know exactly what you're talking about. I remember those. That's pretty cool. Let's see, so what are we doing next on this one? Uh, we're going to town, and we're... You're gonna check all this gear that I'm dropping for you to see if maybe you got an upgrade. Oh, did you already get back? Yes. Okay. Is and I think that you are gonna have an upgrade or two. I might have an upgrade here in a few minutes, guys. What we're gonna go ahead and do is actually end the episode here. And when we come back, I'm gonna, you know, have gone through all that stuff to drop down on the ground. I'll put on any new gear and I'll show you if I get any new pieces, guys. In fact, let's take a look at my inventory real quick, just a quick glance at it. Let me know on the comment section below if you guys want me to show this off a little bit more often. I know people who are very familiar with the game probably don't need to see these items. Uh, you know, they've seen a million of them themselves. Just kind of show you the highlights of what I put on recently is probably more than enough. But I'd like to hear your opinion, find out from you guys what you guys want to see. Uh, if you uh, all want to say anything before we head out, Dark Dragon or um, Dev Dog. Dev. See you guys in the next video. <laughs> um, all I say is, I actually like to see the part where you're going through your gear to see what the logic is behind why a piece is good and why you're choosing this one over that one. Right. So I, I kind of like it, but it's all about the viewers, man. It's whatever they want. Well, you know, everybody. It's, it's uh, like a group thing. That's why I'm playing the games here for you guys is that I like to play them a little different than I normally do. It gives me a new experience with games that I've already played before and makes them enjoyable in ways that I've never really experienced any other way. It's kind of hard to describe the enjoyment you can get from it because it is so unique to sharing your experience. I mean, the only other way you can kind of put it into words is if you had friends come over with you and sit down and watch you play the game. Uh, as you went through it and you guys just kind of sat there and talked. This is exactly what I do when I play with my brothers and stuff is I'll sit here and I'll just be talking to them like I'm talking to you guys. Granted, uh, you know, I won't get into like how you do things and the why you do things. The demons are in the keep! They're coming up from the depths! Because I just tell them that or they would already know. So it's, it would be kind of weird right. to phrase it that way. But overall, uh, it's yeah. pretty close to the same. Again, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It definitely helps grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Again, as I said before, make sure to leave those comments down below because we do love hearing back from you, and we make the videos better because of you. So uh, leave those comments, leave those suggestions down there, and we will definitely uh, you know, try to make it possible if, uh, if we can. Uh, again, catch you next time.